It's four and a half years since the British people voted to take back control of their money, their borders, their laws and their waters and to leave the European Union. And earlier this year, we fulfilled that promise and that we left on January the 31st with that oven ready deal. Since that time, we've been getting on with our agenda, enacting the points-based immigration system that you voted for and that will come into force on January the 1st, doing free trade deals with 58 countries around the world and preparing the new relationship with the EU. And there have been plenty of people who have told us that the challenges of the COVID pandemic have made this work impossible and that we should extend the transition period and incur yet more delay. And I rejected that approach precisely because beating COVID is our number one national priority. And I wanted to end any extra uncertainty and to give this country the best possible chance of bouncing back strongly next year. And so I'm very pleased to tell you uh, this afternoon uh, that we have completed the biggest trade deal yet, worth £660 billion a year, a comprehensive Canada-style free trade deal between the UK and the EU. And so I say again uh, directly to our EU friends and partners, I think this deal means a new stability and a new uh, certainty in what has sometimes been a fractious and difficult relationship. We will be your friend, your ally, your supporter, and indeed, never let it be forgotten, your number one market. Because although we have left the EU, this country will remain culturally, emotionally, historically, strategically, geologically attached to Europe. Not least, of course, through the four million EU nationals who have requested to settle in the UK over the last uh, four years and who make an enormous contribution to uh, our country and to our lives. And I say to all of you at home at the end of this toughest of years that our focus in the weeks ahead is of course on defeating uh, the, the pandemic and on be beating uh, coronavirus and rebuilding our economy and delivering jobs across the country. And I'm utterly confident that we can and will do it. We've, uh, by today, we've vaccinated almost 800,000 people. And we've also today resolved a question that has bedeviled our politics for decades. And it is up to us all together as a newly and truly independent nation to realize the immensity of this moment and to make the most of it.